So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime. And you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! She spit in my face! Here we have one of my favorite frauditors, Nat. He roams around with his camera in places he shouldn't be and thinks that people are violating his constitutional rights. Oh, he's a crazy one. Take care, sir. You got it. Thank you. Uh, you got to sign off for me, all right? That's where you at? That's you right here? Yeah, Benjamin Franklin. Okay, you can put it. the time, no, man. No, no, no. You got to write it. I can't write for you. Yeah. Sign no, off. I'm not going to. I got to get out of here. Right. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. To recap briefly from the previous video, this bloody moron was in the city hall building refused to sign in, was forced to sign in, signed his name as Benjamin Franklin, now he's refusing to sign out. So now he's on his way next door to police headquarters to exercise his First Amendment American rights. Right on the side of City Hall here is the police headquarters. City of Long Beach police headquarters. That's how they arrive so quickly at the City Hall. How are you doing today? Good, so? Good. Hello, sir. Hey, how are you, Sergeant? Sorry about that. Did you take a look at the sign right here? I'm sorry. Oh, actually, this posted right over there. No photography, no video recording in the police precinct. Yeah, this is, a, this is a public lobby, Sergeant. Okay, I understand, but that's the policy of the police department. But policy doesn't trump law. I have a First Amendment right to record the police. Sorry. Not in the lobby. This is a uh, sensitive area. We have. This is not a sensitive area. There's we no. Have, we, have, we have matters of privacy that occur here. This dim witted knucklehead has just been informed by a sergeant there is no video recording, yet he wants to argue with the man. I don't know what the hell is wrong with these people. They are morons, idiots, and imbeciles. That's, okay, I'm that's simply not true. Leave. That's simply not true. Right, so Excuse I'm me, sir. Ask you to leave. Are you telling me that if I don't uh, first, can I get your name? Sergeant Alexander. Sergeant Alexander. Okay. So, are you telling me that if I continue to the film in a lobby, lobby, you're going to be trespassing if you continue to film in the lobby? Sir. So you would arrest me for if I continue to film. Mr. Reyes, how can I be of assistance to you? Great. You're gonna, I can't chase you around. No, I'm, I'm coming to you, Lieutenant. That's all. Uh, I'm making it easy for you. social distance, even though... Oh, sure, sure, sure. How can I be of assistance to you? Okay, so uh, Sergeant Alexander came out while I was filming in the police lobby. I was you looking to speak... filming in the police lobby? Correct, yeah. Such a heinous crime, right? This frauditor has such a smart mouth on him. Wouldn't you love to stuff a sock in there? Of course, I'd like to say something else, but that would violate the YouTube community guidelines. Yes, indeed. Yeah, you're not allowed to. Oh, right, but what, what law is that, Lieutenant? Trespassing. Wouldn't trespassing be being in a place I'm not supposed to be? Yes. And you telling me to leave and I don't yes. leave? And the signs that would be the statute, correct? Yeah. When you're videotaping in there and the signs are supposed to say you can't, yes, that becomes trespassing. But okay. So what? That, a, what? A my my my. Sure. Complaint, my complaint. My complaint is is that I have a constitutional right to film the police and and law enforcement in the course of their duties. So how can I not be allowed to film based on your policy and be threatened to be arrested? So you're telling me if I walk in there with my camera, Lieutenant, that you're going to arrest me for you can film out here. Absolutely, you can film this all day. Yeah, but right I, I believe that it's, on, from my knowledge of the law, I believe that that policy violates my constitutional rights to film the police and government employees in the course of their duty. This frauditor whines and cries like a little crybaby snowflake. He reminds me of another frauditor. What do you think? That's my purse! I don't know you! 
that's not a restricted area, Lieutenant. That's not, you know, any place with sensitive information. That is a public lobby that everybody should be allowed to go into and feel free and welcome to go into and record for transparency reasons. What's Unfortunately, that, transparency reasons? yeah, transparency and accountability. So that's correct. What accountability your your department, your department doesn't seem to have body cameras as most of the nation does. Really? So, yeah, so I would prefer that if I'm conducting business or any citizen journalist conducting business here at Long Beach City Police Department, they should be able to film in the public lobby, sir. It's a public lobby. That's not a restricted area. You, no, you, Mr. Reyes, there is a policy that says you can't report in the lobby. You can report out here all day long and we'll be more than happy to sit and talk with you all day long. That's can you can you, can you show me the policy, sir? I explained the policy to you. Oh, but can I, can I see it or I would have to do a FOIA request for it? Uh, no, a FOIA that, request? That, that is the signs are posted that you can't yeah. record in the lobby. Yeah, but you printed that out on a computer. To be fair, so, Lieutenant, you printed that out on a computer. And policies are written on a computer as well. Yeah. Frauditors love to debate semantics. Is that a policy? Is that a rule? Is that a law? What law have I broken? Shut your mouth. You sound like a whiny little kid. But they usually have to be approved you're by higher authority. To, you are welcome to record out here. We can record this business all day long. Yeah. We certainly had a wonderful time recording throughout City Hall. City Hall was great. With you. Great. And you're having a wonderful time. So what is it? You asked me to come here so that you could have a complaint. So I'd like my to take my complaint is that your policy here, Lieutenant, is unconstitutional. That's my complaint. So that, the complaint is about the policy being unconstitutional. Correct. And being threatened to be arrested by not only now Sergeant Alexander, but, but yourself for trespassing. Trespassing doesn't say anything about filming in public, okay. sir. You would be using that crime of trespassing. I have every right to be in that lobby. Can we agree on that? You can certainly go into the lobby. You can't record me. So if I record in the lobby, I'll be charged with trespass, criminal trespassing. You can and that, that is, you that, can and that is my complaint. And that would be my complaint okay. with the police department, sir. Okay. My complaint about you, frauditor, is you travel around to various locations and you waste police resources all to favor your YouTube channel. Get a real job. What the hell is wrong with you? So, Get, you know, you do you have a chief? The sergeant, the sergeant for... Now, informing you of the policy, I'm, I'm not sure what the complaint I, my, my complaint is against the policy in its totality. Okay, so the complaint is not about the officer, the complaint is about the policy? The policy, correct. The policy. And he should know better to enforce a policy. He's law enforcement. He's not policy enforcement. He's law enforcement, just like yourself, sir. I told you this at City Hall. There's laws that you enforce, and that's it. That's your job. You took an oath to the Constitution of the United States to uphold the Constitution. Well, thank you for that you should You should take that oath very seriously, and that oath and that Constitution says that I'm allowed to film, I'm allowed to redress my government, film, the Supreme Court has said that I can film government employees in the course of their duties, out of, a, not the Supreme Court, it's, um, a district court, federal district court, it's case law, Turner v. Driver, I can film government employees in the course of their duties. If you're preventing me from doing that, that's a violation of my civil rights, sir. Thank you and for you're, that information. And you're, you're doing that. By that policy is, is exactly what it's doing. Thank you for that information. What do you have to hide in there? What is, what, can you tell me the reason behind the policy, Lieutenant? Hey, Dimwit, there's sensitive information contained in there. and People don't want their information broadcast on the Internet. Now shut your mouth and go home. Good. There are people that discuss private matters and they come in with their own personal matters to discuss with the desk officer, which is why the policy is in place. So, so to protect here, people's privacy in public? People's privacy as they come to the police department for assistance. But if they have something private to tell you, I, I would suggest that you take them to a... You don't have an interview room? How would you know the, what they had to discuss was private unless they allocated that to you first? But the courts have also ruled there's, the courts have also ruled there's no expectation of privacy in public. And that's a public lobby. That's a public... But it's a public lobby, sir. With that dim-witted logic, we could also argue that the inside of a jail cell could be public versus private. Would you like to check out the inside of a jail cell? Because we can certainly arrange that, frauditor. Okay, well, I, I see we're not going to agree. You are welcome to videotape out here all day long. No problem whatsoever. Enjoy yourself doing it. So what are you going to do about my complaint about your policy? Well... Should I should I just speak to the city manager or should I speak well, to the, the chief? That, or we can take the information from you with regards to a complaint about policy. Let's take a Yeah, I believe your policy to be unconstitutional. Policy. Let's go to the extent that we can. And 
Okay. We will investigate this. Can I ask your last name? Yes. You, you guys have all my information. No, no, I, 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 don't. I don't. Yes, no. you, you called me by my last name, sir. I called you by your last name, but if I'm going to be able to take this complaint, I'm going to have to be able to fill out this. Sir, I don't, I don't know who you are. Okay. So, if, look, this, this is a civilian complaint form. That's correct. If you would, would like, like me to do out. it, yeah. I will, but I'm going to need the information. I'm just going to summarize for you, right? You have an issue with the policy as it violates your civil rights and the fact that you were told that you would be arrested if you filmed in the lobby. Correct. Okay, your email, I'm going to spell it out. Long Island Audit, L O N G I S L A N D A U D I T at gmail.com. That's correct. I don't know, good people. What do you think? What kind of a dim witted, knucklehead, bonehead person leaves their personal information? in an uploaded video. I can't tell you, but this guy did. A few minutes later. All right, guys, so we're just getting out of City Hall and the police department here in Long Beach, New York, right here on Long Island. Overall, I would definitely say, you know, a fail. Not a strong fail, but a fail nonetheless. To start off and recap, when I first went into the court, the New York State Court area, the court officer was, you know, very confrontational about my filming. Um, never, never got to go back there and film past the mag as the building was closing. But, you know, filming the city hall presented a problem where they called law enforcement on me. Uh, building security never told me to sign in and then wanted me to sign in after the fact, which I did under Benjamin Franklin. These buffoons walk among us. They defy the government to do something to them. Oh, they don't want to show ID, and I'm going to sign my name as Benjamin Franklin. What the hell kind of nonsense is that? And, uh, you know, they weren't going to get any ID from me. And it's just a stupid policy that even, as you guys saw, that the officer, the inspector there, he agreed with me. So, you know, I'm going to take that policy up with the city manager. I'm trying to schedule a meeting with her. As well as, you know the policies for the police department here as far as filming in the public lobby when I went to go file my complaint I was threatened with being arrested for trespassing by Sergeant Alexander and the lieutenant saying that it was a lawful policy you know I tried to explain to them that policy does not trump law that they took an oath to the Constitution you know looked like it went in one ear out the other they did take in a formal complaint from me that's enough of this moron babbling and rambling. But the thing I can't understand is that he has tens of thousands of views on his channel. Are these people watching to make fun of him? Or do these people agree with him? That's scary to think that people agree with him. As always, if you enjoyed this and you want to see more bumbling, babbling buffoons, please subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. And cheers.